Today's adventure brings us to Hollywood, California, directly along the Walk of Fame. And the topic has to do with these stars that go along the boulevard. Today, someone special is getting one of these. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. The person I am referring to is a gentleman by the name of Weird Al Yankovic. You might know him as an award-winning recording artist, but there's a certain comedy from the 80s that holds a special place in my heart. And I think it's probably my favorite Weird Al creation. A little movie by the name of UHF. And while I have delved deep into the repertoire of tunes that he has created, I will always look back to that movie in particular. So today, I'm going to experience, I'm going to witness with my own eyes, Weird Al. Get one of these, a star. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? There's a tour bus driving by and there have been some protective banisters placed over there across the street. I think I'm gonna try to get a closer peek. On second thought, it looks like the queue line just to try to get into the corral is Adam way backed up. Adam LaVoo! My thought process is to kind of roam around, but I think I'm gonna try to get up there and get a bird's eye view. This just might work by standing on this escalator and going up to the second story. I think I might get a pretty good view from up here. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out nicely amongst the foliage. Pretty nice little angle, and you can see in correlation to where everything else is, Jimmy Kimmel and the El Capitan. What I'm noticing in that window is, it's not a ghost, it's a cardboard cutout. It kind of reminds me of the three men in a baby rumor. Still got a ways to wait, but I have coffee and my charger, and I'm not standing in the shrubbery, I'm kind of in this little nook and cranny here. Directly above the Hard Rock Cafe, in fact, you can see between the two walls, and you can see the little sign way down there. To one of America's funniest musical geniuses.
Sid can make today possible. They're cool too. We don't want to come out. Stand up, Dave. Stand up. Okay, now, now, now do a little dance. <laughs> that was disturbing. Okay. You sit down then. In an effort to correct this cruel injustice in the universe. So, in the year of our Lord 2005, we took out one of the to start from Weird Alley Star Fund. With the help of a trusty treasurer, Mickey DeVries, we sincerely thank all of the generous fans who took out second mortgages on their homes and subsisted on nothing but ramen noodles for years and years just so I can be standing before you here today. Thank you for your selfless sacrifice. I mean, uh, I guess you could have donated that money to the Red Cross or the American Cancer Society or something, but I think you made the right choice. I do. I think this was an excellent use of your disposable income. Um, seriously, I'm completely overwhelmed by the love and support of the fans. This is pretty awesome. I got be like within 200 feet of a Hooters. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, dreams do come true. Um, but mostly, it's just an honor knowing that my name, my name, is going to be walked on, spit on, <laughs> well, let's face it, you're an agent on generations to come. That's a legacy, my friend. <laughs> By the way, I, I'm sorry I didn't have to say this. I don't want to even have to ask this, but I... Please, please don't pickaxe my star, okay? <laughs> I know it's all the rage these days, but... <laughs> The guys in my band, the best band in the entire world. That's not hyperbole, that's not my personal opinion. That's been empirically proven, my friend. That is a fact. And this star belongs as much to them as it does to me. Guys, stand up. Stand up. Anything I could possibly imagine when I was in college, recording songs with my recording in the bathroom, um, getting the start on the Rock of Fame. I, I kind of thought this may, may, may be my one real shot at immortality. guy has the right idea. It's kind of like a built-in ladder of sorts. Gandhi too. You were Gandhi too. You want a steak. A steak. Medium rare. No more Mr. Passive Resistance. So you got all the lines. How does it feel knowing in the late 80s when you directed Weird Al in that movie, knowing that he would get a star now? You probably had no clue whatsoever that this day would come. You know, we knew from the minute he was born, actually, that he was going to have a star. But we don't say those things. You know? it, sounds, it sounds too... Uh, it sounds too... Uh, Aggressive or too presumptuous, but there you go. I think we knew. So it's not only a and good here day. We are. It's not only a good day for him, but you must be very proud as well. I am. It's an amazing day. All right. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Have a good one. It's the director from UHF. Hey, 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 Cal Poly Slow. Cal Poly Slow. I went to Cal Poly for more than that. Yeah, Cal Poly Slow, man. We go down. Thank you. Hurry out.
Watch your back, please. Watch your back, folks. Watch your back, folks. We're out. You gotta play the accordion for me. There you go. I think I saw you over for an hour. There's a back to the Thank you so much. And I love you on uh Hey uh You're are you emo Phillips? Hey Just don't call him Mr. Butterfinger. Don't call him Mr. Butterfinger. Sorry, guys. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, everybody. Come on. Thank you for everything, Doctor. Uh, I have it. Let's see if I can just sneak in here with the nuclear chicken. I'll get the name correct. Nuke boy, the radioactive chicken hands. Don't really yell at me. You want to get, to get, like, a little, down a little what? Down. And you we have a, we don't have ears, right? And we have a carrot head over here. You said a lot like Norm McDonald. Is that Norm McDonald in there? Yeah. Doing yeah. some more dirty work. I didn't get to it. Cannot it's a confirm, nice one. confirm or deny. You look like a creepy minion. Norm McDonald. Just a bug. Just a bug, sir. Temporary stage is now going away, and it's a good thing no one asked for any autographs because there could be some serious safety concerns. If you had done so, this could be the first basically public view of the star. Look how clean it is compared to the rest of the sidewalk. It's like all shiny and glimmering. Now this is something I would never recommend doing because normally there would be, you know, some urination or you know, desecration of some sort, but because it is still relatively clean, I'm going to lay down here. Look how clean it is. It's untarnished, it's untouched for a very short while. Uh, very short. You're the one rides the bus. You're the one rides the bus. And another comes on, and another comes on. You're the one rides the bus. T H E M O X I E J A N E. The Moxie Jane, as if I'm famous, but I'm not. That's going to do it for today. I must say, that was a, that was a pretty good time. I don't think I've laughed that much during an accepted speech. <laughs> I don't know ever, I couldn't even hold the camera straight. It was zoomed so far in with each laugh, with each giggle that I gave, you can see the camera shake and you can hear me chuckling quite a bit. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so helps keep you in the loop, up to date on future adventures, endeavors I will be going on as well as uploads on this channel. And ring that notification bell, helps keep you in the loop. See you in the next, the next video. The vlog? Oh yes, the vlog is over. Another one rides the bus. <clears throat> another one rides the bus. <laughs> another one comes on and another comes on. Another one rides the bus. Get off. <laughs> hey, who's gonna sit by you? Another one rides the bus. Another one rides the bus. Another one rides the bus. Ow! Another one rides the bus. Hey, hey! Another one rides the bus. Hey, 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 h